Hello everyone, it's Nadine here to talk about this upcoming new year, 2022, and how you can make the most of it. So in the seven rays, this coming new year is going to be governed by the sacral chakra and the violet flame. So this can be a tremendously magical new year for you and a year where you experience more joy in your daily life than even perhaps in recollected history. Now, this is if you align with it and ride the wave of these energy frequencies. So this is a year to honor your feelings, to create healthy boundaries, and to really make your emotional wellness non-negotiable. It's really going to take the center stage this year. And so what I would like to invite you to do is really reclaim your right to joy, your right to even contentment. <laughs> contentment and bliss, they're one in the same. And think about as we're ending this year, what some of those beliefs or experiences with your emotional body that could be blocking your right to experiencing joy. For example, my own personal experience, I had a couple, just I'm sure many, but a couple that come to the top of my head. And one is as a teenager, a well-meaning adult, um, I was, t I can't remember what the topic was, but I remember saying, I just want to be happy. And that well-meaning adult became so upset. It was so triggering for them. And they said, life isn't about being happy. You know, it's about responsibility. And I can't remember the whole tirade that they went into, but that was actually seared into my memory. And another, so very shaming around joy. And another experience that I recall is uh, going to Catholic school, young child, early grade school. We, I believe we went to church every day. And we were in the hallway waiting to get in, waiting for our turn. And I don't know if my friend tickled me or told a joke or what, and I just belted out laughing. And I remember the teacher, who's probably a nun, had said to me, don't you laugh in the house of God. And it's so interesting because even as a young child, while I was very, you know, take like kind of slap me energetically, <clears throat> I remember thinking, I think God wants me to be happy. I don't think she's right, <laughs> but I still um, held on to that feeling, of course, because that feeling can be so strong when someone kind of whips us energetically and zaps our joy. But we know the truth. We know that when we are joyful, we are aligned with our inner being. We are aligned with our source. So I, I, I love this. I, there's a affirmation card, I believe Louise Hay has that. This is the year that I claim my joy, that I follow my joy. I know I'm getting it wrong, <laughs> but let that be the year, this coming new year, the year that your feelings, your joy is non-negotiable and you begin to make choices that you know will bring more happiness into your life. Now, I want to invite you for my uh, January, start January 1st. Many of you that have been with me for a while know that I like to start the new year with a 21 day meditation activation program. And this year it's going to be co-creating joy. That's going to be our focus, manifesting joy into our lives. And I can't think of a better way to start the new year. We're going to be working with <laughs> the airplane. We're going to be working with the most amazing joy guides of both heaven and earth 
going to be a lot of fairy energy, a lot of earth energy that works with us, but our, we're going to work a lot with our inner being. And, you know, there is going, I want you to think of this new year as a year of fun, of play. So there's going to be a lot of our inner child coming forward. That part of us that think about for children, joy is non-negotiable for them. You know, they don't want it. If it's not fun, they don't show up. They don't show up mentally. They might be there physically, but they have, they're, you know, left the building. So there's a lot of wonderful energy that we can tap into. We're going to receive in the 21 day activations, we're going to receive attunements every day. They're going to be like mini meditations, easy for you to integrate into your day practices. We're going to do a lot of manifestation work and receive a lot of energetic strengthening and upgrades, especially for that sacral chakra. And just a little bit more on that is you know, for us sensitives, for us, you know, intuitives, empaths, and humanitarians, um, you know, we get really lost in um, confusing other people's needs for our needs, and we can take the back seat in our lives. And the more that we really take care and nourish ourselves, the more that we're going to be able to serve this planet. And think about this. This is a great new, new, this new year is a great year to ignite the creativity within us, unleash it, but it needs to be nourished by joy. So this can be a breakthrough year for your creative pursuits as well. So think about you know, again, like just kind of contemplate where you can um, create stronger boundaries and be more playful and joyful. And if you join me for the 21 day program, it's <laughs> we're going to have it all laid out for you. Um, you know, I can't really say what each attunement and meditation activation is going to be because again, if you know me, I channel these along the way and I'm just as I'm receiving along with all of you. So, um, but I can't wait. I can't wait, um, for this coming new year. Although I'm excited to do some more clearing before we get there. So this would also be a great time to do an end of the year clearing. My sister Franny and I, you could check out our website. You can get an angelic soul reading and healing based on this. We also have new year blessings. And sometimes people like to do the new year intuitive reading and blessing at the end of the year. Some like to do it in the beginning of the new year. So this is like a really great time, again, to just like harness these energies. And um, you know, you deserve, like joy is, your birthright and um, the divine wants you to be joyful so just remember that and any other stories they're lying to you <laughs> so I send so much love to you and yours and you know it's been it has been a rough ride the last couple of years and we all could use a little bit of joy, a, a upliftment. And that's, again, what my 21 day program is going to be all about, upliftment. And creating a joy is one of the great creators. It's a manifester because it attracts more of its like. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to me and take care.